So here today, this is the second video in my Shop Goodwill budget home theater build series. Uh, if you've wanted to build a home theater on a budget, but you didn't know what to look for, you didn't know what was a good deal, what's not a good deal, well then look no further than this series about buying items on Shop Goodwill. Here today, we're talking about the AVR receivers. Uh, we did the projectors in the last video, now we're on to the AVRs. Again, uh, some ground rules about stuff with these units. First and foremost, I am not looking at Atmos enabled units. I'm looking at uh, pretty much seven channel amps uh, and processors and AVRs. Uh, I don't believe any of these are strictly five channel. I believe they're seven channel, but we're looking at doing either a five or a seven channel setup on here. Um, these aren't going to be 4K enabled. They're not going to be Atmos enabled. What we're looking at is 10 1080p, we're looking at older, high quality units uh, in the vein of what I would buy here in my home theater. And so that's what we're looking at. That's kind of just out of the way. Uh, again, as I've said in my other video, 99, almost 100% chance that by the time this video posts, these items are going to be sold. They're not going to be available on Shop Goodwill anymore. Uh, so I'm not saying to go strictly buy these specific units, uh, these exact ones, but what I'm trying to do is show what's out there on Shop Goodwill and what gets posted uh, so you can kind of know what to look for uh, in things like that. So without any more ground rules or anything like that, let's uh, get into it. Uh, what we're looking for here are higher quality older units. So not a lot of new stuff, but older units that are high quality components uh, from years ago. So what we're gonna start with is a Denon AVR 2309CL uh, processor. Again, this is a very good high quality Denon amp. Uh, I don't know all the specs on all these. I tried to do my research, but I believe this one is like 100 watts a channel on it. Uh, this is a pretty good quality. This is from, I believe, the early to mid 2010s. Uh, at the time of recording, has no bids on it. It's sitting at $12.99, $12.99, uh, plus about $34 in shipping and handling. Really good deal for a unit like this. Uh, again, this is... 1080p, not a 4K, um, has several HDMI inputs as well as some other, uh, you know, coax, toss link, uh, you know, other inputs on the back that you can use. Uh, Denon's a very good, high quality uh, manufacturer. So this unit right here is a really good deal for what it is. 1080p, like I said, about 100 watts a channel, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a seven channel amp. Uh, it's gonna process HDMI like 1.3 or 1.4. Uh, so not the most, you know, up-to-date HDMI, but definitely good enough to drive your Xbox, uh, you know, Blu-ray player, uh, Apple TV, you know, Amazon Fire Stick, whatever the case may be. So this one, Definitely for the price with no bids on it at the time of recording Definitely a, a good deal, you know one. I would definitely look at for what it is This second amp that's on here. This is the uh, approved purchase for secondhand home theater If I was needing an amp if I was building a home theater from the beginning uh of all the amps that are on here, all the receivers that are on here, I would jump 10 out of 10 times on this deal, uh, bar none. This is a Denon AVR 3311CL uh, AVR. Currently sitting at no bids <laughs> on online. Uh, it's at $14.99 plus about $22, $23 in shipping. Uh, this is a really, really, really good deal. Extremely good deal for this unit. Uh, I believe this is THX certified or THX2 certified. Uh, this is at least 110, if not 120 watts a channel on this one, if I remember correctly. Uh, this is heavy duty. This is probably like a 20, 30 pound receiver. Uh, this is a workhorse receiver. This is awesome. It's a 7.2 channel, so it's not Atmos. It's got dual out for two subs. 
uh, seven channel out for your bed layer. It's got HDMI either 1.3 or 1.4. I believe it has like five or six HDMI inputs plus all the other uh, extra inputs on there. For this deal, especially if no one bids on it and you get it for the single bid price, for under $30 all in on this thing, 10 out of 10 times, night and day, whatever. If I needed one right now, uh, this would be the one I'd pick. Uh, I mean, like I said, 10 out of 10, I would pick this one. It's the approved purchase by Secondhand Home Theater. I would definitely jump on this one. Moving on to a different brand, so we're not just looking at Denon. We're going to look at some other ones. Uh, there is an Onkyo TX-SR608 uh, that's listed on there at the time of recording. Currently sitting at $12.99, there is one single bid on this unit. Uh, you add in again about $27, $28, uh, so under $30 in shipping. This one will probably go up a little bit, but if you could get this one for under 50 bucks plus the shipping uh, on there, so you're looking in you know, under like $80, $90 total, again, a really good receiver for what it is. Multiple HDMI inputs, uh, it's a seven channel. This one's a 700 watts. So I'm, I believe this one's 100 watts a channel on here. Uh, Ankyo, again, another really good brand uh, that makes high quality components. Uh, this one also comes with a remote, which not a lot of the items you're going to see throughout my series of videos here have a remote. So that also adds to it the fact that it has an actual remote that comes with it. Uh, again, this one's going to be a good workhorse AVR that unless you're wanting Atmos or you're wanting 4K for 1080, this one's going to be good. Multiple HDMI inputs, like I said. Uh, it's going to have dual subwoofer outs, 100 watts a channel, have all the other inputs plus the original remote. So yeah, if you could get this all in for under $100, I think this would definitely be a good buy. And I've had Onkyo products in the past. They're good quality. Uh, you know, you're not going to have a lot of problems with them. So this would definitely be another good buy. On to the last uh, receiver that I'm going to talk about here in this video. This is a Yamaha RX A740. Uh, this is a little bit newer receiver versus some of these other ones. Uh, again, Yamaha is a pretty good brand. Uh, Yamaha makes some higher quality stuff and is known to like have some good quality control on their stuff. I've never personally owned a Yamaha. Um, I have worked with Denon's before. I've owned Onkyo's and things, but I've never owned a Yamaha, uh, but I've heard good reviews about it. Again, this is another one. It's a little bit lower quality than the other couple that I just talked about, but still a pretty good deal. Uh, currently sitting at one bid at $9.99 plus about $25 for the shipping and handling. Again, really good deal. You're looking under $35 for this. Again, multiple HDMI inputs. The HDMI is probably going to be a little, little bit newer on this one. I'm thinking this one's probably like a 1.4 uh, HDMI on there. Uh, but multiple HDMI inputs, it's going to have a couple uh, additional, you know, audio inputs and whatnot on there. Again, a good deal. Out of the four that I've listed that I'm going to talk about here in this video, this one's probably the lowest on my list, just because I don't have a lot of experience with Yamaha. And just from looking through the pictures, this one looks to be a little bit lower quality than the other ones, but still a pretty good deal. But for my money, I'm talking about all four of these, that second Denon receiver, the 3311, all day, every day would be my pick. Uh, and it's one that's gonna last you for a number of years until you're truly committed to upgrading to a 4k or an atmos setup but if you're okay with 1080 and just a five or a seven channel system that denon the 3311 all day would be the one i would pick and these type of receivers all four of these they pop up quite a bit on shop goodwill you're going to see a lot of denon uh receivers you're going to see a fair amount of yamahas onkyos are going to show up you're going to see a lot of pioneers on there and you're going to see some marantz products i have noticed just throughout the years of looking at shop goodwill the marantz products tend even if they're not as good a quality as some of these other ones 
because of the name value with Morant, they always go for more money. And that's why I don't have any of them listed on the four that I talked about. There's multiple on Shop Goodwill right now at the time of this video, but they're all going to eventually sell for much higher than these other products. And so if we're strictly looking at how to stretch your budget and how I would do things, I would avoid those Morant products at least here on shop goodwill because they're going to go for more money and you're going to get an equally good product sometimes even a better product for less money by buying one of these other brands on something that's a little bit older uh and you're going to also see like i mentioned pioneer the reason i don't have pioneer listed on here a lot of the pioneer receivers are either going to be their more entry-level models uh that don't have a lot of bells and whistles and not a lot of like RMS wattage, you know, for the speakers and whatever. Or you're going to see some really old units that are really high quality, uh, that are like, you know, huge, heavy, you know, solid built units. The problem is most of those don't have HDMI capabilities. They're going to be strictly S video or maybe component video. And while the audio side, if you're looking strictly as maybe something just to power your speakers and you're gonna say run your hdmi direct to your projector you could probably get away with something like that but for these that i listed i wanted to show ones that had hdmi that you could plug the hdmi inputs in on there and let that unit power your speakers and your video and process everything in one one piece of equipment uh speaking of that one other side note before i wrap this video up you can also find monoblock or just standard power amplifiers on Shop Goodwill. Again, not what I'm looking for in terms of this series of building a home theater, you know, doing mono blocks, doing power amplifiers or a little bit more advanced than just like an entry level budget all in one kind of AVR processor. Uh, you can find those. They're hit or miss on the price and on the quality. Uh, they are on there, but again, for what I'm trying to do with these videos, doesn't really apply. Uh, but if you're someone who has, you know, a really good uh, AVR or like an actual video processor, and you're wanting something just to power your speakers, you could get one of those older Pioneer units, let's say, or find the mono blocks or a strict power amplifier just to power your speakers for a decent price most of the time. Uh, but again, that's not really what this video is about. Yeah, so uh, to round out everything and finish up this video, uh, I would all day, all night, seven days a week, I would pick that Denon 3311. I can't stress that enough. That is a great deal. And that is, in my opinion, the best receiver out of any of these. And it'll probably go for the first bid price. I, I don't know if anyone's even going to bid on it. So I would definitely pick that one up. All of these are good options, but that's my choice pick. That's the one I would take uh, if I needed one, you know, starting today uh, in my home theater. And again, this is a series. I did my projectors. These are the AVRs. The next ones that are going to come up, I'm going to do a couple videos about different speakers that you can find on Shop Goodwill. So stay tuned for that. Uh, like I always say, I want to say thanks to everyone who's watched, liked, or subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so with that, I'm going to say goodbye. And we'll see you in the next video. Be on the lookout for the center channel speaker video coming next. Thank you.